The Microsoft Surface Go is one of the best 2-in-1 devices available in the market today. It delivers the performance of a laptop and at the same time the portability of a tablet. Although this is a solid performing device there are instances when certain issues can occur. In this short video tutorial we will tackle the Surface Go won't connect to Wi-Fi issue. Before performing the recommended troubleshooting steps for this issue, you should consider doing a force restart. You can do this by pressing and holding down the power button until your surface restarts and you see the Windows logo screen. Then release the power button. This will refresh the operating system and remove any corrupt temporary data that could be causing the problem. First try using the Network Troubleshooter tool. This is a built-in tool in Windows 10 that can help find and fix common connectivity issues. To do this, select the Start button. Click on Settings. Click on Network and Internet. Click on Status. Then, under Change your network settings select Network Troubleshooter. Then, follow the steps in the troubleshooter then check if the problem is fixed. Next, reset the TCP IP stack. The TCP IP stack is a set of protocols that helps connect your Surface Go to the Internet. Resetting these protocols will help solve any connectivity problems that you are experiencing. Type command prompt on the search bar then right-click on the command prompt app that appears then choose Run as Administrator. Then, enter the following lines and press Enter after each one. Type Netch Winsock Reset and select Enter. Type Netch Int IP Reset and select Enter. Type IP Config Slash Release and select Enter. Type IP Config Slash Renew and select Enter. Type IP Config Slash Flush DNS and select Enter. Close the command prompt window then check if the Surface Go won't connect to Wi-Fi issue still occurs. Next, roll back the network drivers. If this problem occurred right after installing a new update to your network drivers then you should try getting back the old drivers. In the search box on the taskbar, type Device Manager and then select Device Manager from the list of results. Expand Network Adapters and locate the network adapter for your device. Then, select the network adapter and then select Properties. In Properties, select the Driver tab. Select Rollback Driver and then follow the steps. If the Rollback Driver appears dimmed or grayed out, that means there's no driver to roll back to. After rolling back the drivers, restart the computer then check if the Microsoft Surface can connect to your Wi-Fi network. Next, update the network adapter drivers. One factor that can cause this problem is an outdated network adapter driver. Try to check if an updated driver is available and if there is, you should try to install it. Right-click the Start button and select Device Manager. Then, navigate to Network Adapters and expand this section. Then, right-click your network adapter. Select Update Driver. Then, search automatically for updated driver software and then follow the instructions. Check if the Surface Go not connecting to Wi-Fi issue still occurs. Next, turn off the firewall. Sometimes the firewall can interfere with your internet connection. To check if this is the culprit you should temporarily turn this off. In the search box on the taskbar type command prompt. The command prompt button will appear. To the right of it select run as administrator. At the command prompt type netch add firewall set all profiles stayed off and then select enter. Check if the surface go not connecting to Wi-Fi issue still occurs. Lastly, turn off the antivirus. Sometimes the Windows security software can cause connectivity problems. You can see if the connection issue is caused by the antivirus software by turning it off temporarily. Select Start. Go to Settings. Click on Update and Security. Click on Windows Security. Click on Virus and Threat Protection. Then, click on Manage Settings. And then, switch Real-Time Protection to Off. Check if the problem still occurs. I hope that this guide has been helpful. Please support us by clicking like.
share, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more troubleshooting videos.